Beach weather not going to be that great the next week or so. We're going to have a lot of unsettled weather move in this weekend, especially into next week, which means slightly cooler temperatures, but it is going to be humid. And the only reason we're going to have the cooler temperatures is, of course, the added cloud cover. So as we take a look at the national view, still pretty cool out west, but temperatures are starting to moderate a little bit here across the southeast. Things are calm this morning. A couple of showers offshore. There's a tropical disturbance in the Gulf, about a 20% chance of development, but we're watching another one that may come in as we head into the end of the weekend and early next week. Now I'll have more on that with your full tropical update in just a second, but the radar relatively quiet. A couple of showers moving into New Orleans this morning, but other than that, uh, really the drive across Mississippi is looking good. Southeastern Arkansas, Northeast Louisiana, no issues out there on the roadways. And as for your temperatures, 73 degrees this morning in Greenville. Those dew points are around 70 though, so it's a little bit humid out there. As for Greenwood, good morning to you. Mid 70s, so a mild and muggy start to the day. We had cool mornings the last several days, but this is a little more of a, a mild start. And we're in the 70s pretty much across the region from Tunica to Kosciuszko all the way to Pine Bluff into Monroe. So a lot of warmth across the region. And we're going to continue to see these temperatures travel up to the 90s as we head into the afternoon. Start to see a couple of pop up showers near the Jackson Metro area and then some of those push into the Delta later this afternoon and evening. Now as for rain chances today, overall we're going to be pretty low, about a 20% chance and the best chance of seeing any rain south of that Highway 82 corridor into the South Delta. But again, no one's going to see any widespread rain today, but there could be a heavy downpour or two. Overnight things calm down, temperatures into the middle 70s and as we go into tomorrow morning, especially late Late morning into the afternoon hours, we start to see that development reoccur. Now look, this is lunchtime and look what happens after lunch. Thunder showers everywhere. No severe weather expected. We could have some maybe gusty winds, uh, but heavy downpours will be possible as we go through the day to tomorrow. So if you have any weekend plans, uh, I'm not saying they're going to be completely washed out, but you're going to have to keep a close eye on the radar because it's going to be duck and dodge showers pretty much all weekend long. But in between the rain, you could see some sunshine, so not a complete loss. But as we head over the next six days, you are going to be uh, dodging those showers really through the end of next week. And even further, it looks like the next week, week and a half, going to be pretty damp as we have a pretty good chance of being above average in the rainfall department as we head into the next six to ten days. So again, a lot of wet weather coming our way. As for the tropics, things are active, but you know we're right in the peak season right now. Renee still floating out in the central Atlantic going to loop on itself looks to not really become too much of anything but a disorganized mess. As for Paulette, however, could potentially become a category two storm. This may affect Bermuda, but notice it takes a pretty sharp right turn and heads back into the North Atlantic, so no impacts to our area. But we are tracking the potential for um, some development in the Gulf as we head into the late weekend, and this is mainly going to be the culprit right here just east of the Bahamas, going to move across the Florida Peninsula. The system off the Alabama shore, not really going to cause too many issues to our area, but the system in the Bahamas looks to move across the Florida Peninsula into the open waters of the Gulf. Now it doesn't have a lot of real estate to work with, so likely not going to become a very strong storm, but it could become a depression, maybe a low end tropical storm. And regardless, the track looks to bring it right into Mississippi and Alabama into our region, which means an influx of Gulf moisture, which means wet weather heading into the end of the weekend and early next week. And this has about a 60% chance of becoming something tropical, you know, in the next five days, a 40% chance in the next two days. So this is something we should definitely keep our eye on. But regardless of development, we're looking at the potential for a lot of wet weather heading into the next week. But as for today, low chance of rain. Temperatures are going to be hot back into the middle 90s. Northeast winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. As for tonight, partly cloudy and mild lows of 73. Tomorrow, just a little bit cooler. Thunderstorm is going to be likely during the afternoon and evening. And as we go into Sunday, going to be dodging those showers yet again. Unsettled weather continues. It's going to be a little bit cooler, but not really going to be a great trade off because Although the temperatures will be in the 80s, we're going to have pretty high humidity through Thursday, maybe even mid 80s. But still, once you had that rain and humidity, not really a good trade off. So Bryce, again, we're going to be ducking and a dodging through this weekend.